found one more screwdriver. I mean, one more screw hole. Cover for this guy. It's just a little, uh, you know, small screwdriver push in here. Flathead. Where is, where is Flathead? Who are you calling a fathead? No, I said Flathead. You fathead. We need this size right here, this size. Where do you go? Where do you go? Mm -mm, you're not what I need. I bump camera. You bump a lot of things. Alright, let's pause this. So here's the circuit board itself. What I did was I looked at just visual inspection first. I'm, I'm looking for the fuse, if there is one. But I looked on these cap ends here, and they're not blown out. These are coils. There's a fuse right there. I'm going to check this fuse. Um, but I don't smell anything burnt. I don't see anything fried over here on the on the backboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this guy out. Put a multimeter on him. I don't even have to pop him out. I'll put a multimeter on him and if I get a... Yeah, you should pop it out because sometimes bleeds are in there. Can you pop it out? You can pry it out. Let me do that. I'm going to test it without trying to pry anything. Even I can hear that. Alright. Get up out of the way. Right, it says it's a short between those two, but these leads could be touching down here on the bottom. If the fuse is blown, I should get it open. I should not get a, a beep at all. Power comes in here. Something just corroded all the crap down there. It's this big thing. Just be flux. Well, it's not going to be an easy fix.
whole time. <coughs> I can edit it. That's why it's good we can edit this. This brush I just brought out. Here it is. Put it over there. I need to brush things on here. Brush it, brush it. Why you look over there, Ken? AC 250 volt. I always take the fuse out of the thing when you check it though, so. Here it goes. I think it's soldered in. Yeah. It might be. It might be soldered. That's alright, I have soldering iron. I got soldering iron. Alright, I think we're all set up. Let me pivot this guy over. Zoom in a little bit. Oops. I got a battery pack out here, so I can charge this in between. <clears throat> if it gets too low, it'll shut off. The camera will shut off. Recording. Let me sit down. Why well, you gotta make all those noises? Now, the reason why this is smoking. Inside my shirt, so swap out. The reason why this is smoking is because the last time I used it, I burned a hole in the housing of the plastic. Alright, so we gotta locate the fuse again. It's over here. And it's got some long leads on it. some magic juice here. It's non-alcoholic. Alright, what do we got here? Where was I? You were lost. Alright, it's this one right here. Leave you down there. Get you all nice and high. Get my flyers ready. My 
bags of wires or any. Can epics. I think needle nose will work. Alright. It's a show on the road. I am getting paid by the hour, so. Not getting paid at all. By the hour, by the day. This is just doing this just for the hell of it. Alright. Tip, gotta get all nice and conducive again to electronics after plastic. <laughs> Heat. Ooh, lots of heat. Yeah, Grab you back over here. Yes, now you're using your pea brain. Get you hot. Get you. It's just more plastic. I smell plastic. She's it. The solder must flow. The spice must flow. We ain't get crap. There is heat here, but it ain't doing. Touch your tongue to the tip of it and see if it's hot. No. I got a sponge over here. Let go of me. Good thing I'm getting paid by the hour. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna get rich. Rich. This one. Uh, Spalda, Spalda. All right. What I'm doing is I'm letting that warm up while we get this chip sandpaper. an idiot try to figure something out. You look good enough to solder with. Let me get some solder. You stay there. Here's lead in your eye. I want you to stick. I need flux. Will you flux off? Just drop. <laughs> well, you're hot enough. You should work now. Let my solder flow. Why aren't you doing anything? Man. Go here on this virgin. There we go. Now it's getting hot. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere, Baxter. Where, where are we? I'll have it for you ready in a minute, sir. I'm almost there. It's about time. It's taken three days. You're welcome to file a complaint. Oh, I burnt my tip. I <laughs> burnt my finger. This is not a pencil. It's a pencil soldering iron. It's not a pencil. See? You're going to have to add an extra to your bill there, sir, for damages.
damage is inflicted while desoldering. I think the client is written in the contract that you sign under penalty of perjury. This guy don't want to get. I only got one more sign to get out. I don't really need to completely desolder him to check yet. So. A multimeter check here. Just need to desolder one leg, not both. Working. That fuse is short. Let's get an ohm meter. Let's get an ohm meter. See how many ohms. Resistance we got here. I'm gonna set you up for 20k. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with 20k. Why don't you use the stand? Good idea. I should bring the camera where you can see the meter. Or have camera two on the meter. <laughs> but I don't have camera two out here right now. See that or not? No, you can't see the dial. All right, showing a one right now. further down. We're down to 2K. 2K resistance. Short. Alright. 200. Good. I mean, you know, I'm, like no resistance, basically. Um, if the fuse was blown, it would be open. You would get, you would get like infinite. Resistance. You would get this. 